what we find when we uh, give bees these fungal extracts in the laboratory is that each individual bee on average lives longer. So it looks like the bees are healthier overall, their immune system is in better shape, and they're better able to fight pathogens as a result. In trying to figure out more of what's going on, we've been able to find that these fungal extracts help bees fight viruses, and we've also seen it able to help bees fight gut parasites. So it looks like there's multiple different things where the bees are healthier, and we are just now getting some uh, genetic work that's showing that different aspects of the bee immune system are in fact boosted when the extracts are added to their feed. I was growing mushrooms in my garden on wood chips, the garden giant mushroom, and I was also had two beehives. And one day in July, I came out to water my mushrooms in the garden and the garden, and I saw my mushroom bed covered with bees. And I was really surprised. And I looked really closely, and I could see the bees moving the wood chips aside, and I could see these white threads of mycelium with little golden dewdrops on them. And they were like sipping on these dewdrops. Well, we all grew up with Winnie the Pooh. We all know that bees will go into hollow logs or trees and that bears would go in after the honey. But no one until me put it together, apparently, that bees are attracted to mycelium and rotted wood for immune benefit. My friend Louis Schwartzberg came to me and he was doing a movie on pollination. He does Disney type movies and he told me the bees are really in trouble. Uh, what can you do to help them? And then I had a waking dream. Well, when I put all this together, I had this epiphany of feeding the bees the same extracts that help the immunity of human cells resist and reduce viruses. And so I came up with a citizen scientist uh, bee feeder called the bee mushroom or the labyrinthine bee feeder. There is a maze and there's an entry point. We put the sugar water with the extract in a jar uh, that then trickle feeds into this well that's in the center. But the bees, in order to get to the well, have got to go around four or five turns. And then the bees then can drink the extract. happy to help the world and citizen scientists bring this into being because we're all breathing the same air. We're all drinking essentially the same water. We're all in this, this very, very fragile earthship together. It's so important that we protect the commons for our own benefit as well as that of our children. <laughs>